Apple just released 16.3 for HomePod mini. Here are all of the new features. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and I love the HomePod mini. While a lot of people have been talking about the full-size HomePod that is being released, Apple is releasing 16.3, it's available now, for existing HomePod minis, the one you may already have in your home. And with this update, Apple's adding a bunch of great new features, and I'm gonna walk you through exactly what they are. It wasn't long after the original HomePod minis released that it was discovered that hidden inside was an unused temperature and humidity sensor. Now, a long time after the HomePod mini has been available, Apple is activating these sensors. Once you finish up this update, when you go into the Home app, you'll have new climate sensors for whatever room encompasses your HomePod mini. If you have a bunch of these throughout your home, you'll see the temperature and humidity for every room that has a HomePod. It'll take a little bit for this thing to calibrate. Once the update was done, it took about a minute or so for the calibration to take effect. And these sensors will also not work in very cold conditions. These are meant for, you know, indoor use at kind of normal temperatures, your 50s, 60s, 70s. So if it's like 30 degrees in your house, these things are gonna actually be putting off some heat of their own while they're operating. So they're not gonna be super accurate, but for normal operating temperatures in your house, this is great to have new temperature and humidity sensors available. You can also use these to create automations, such as shutting the shades if the room gets above 80 degrees, got really hot in there because there's direct sunlight, close the shades to help cool it down a little bit, or turn on a ceiling fan, or if you have a smart plug, you could turn on a dehumidifier if the humidity raises to a certain threshold, or turn on a humidifier if it drops down too low. All sorts of stuff that you can do, uh, besides just asking Siri what the temperature or humidity is in the room. If you use the Find My app to locate friends and family, with this new software update, you'll be able to ask the HomePod where they are. Let's go ahead and just try it right now. Don't worry, I'll cut out the uh, invoking Siri portion of this. Where's Faith? Faith O'Hara is right around here. Of course, Faith is at home right now, so I was able to easily tell that Faith is where I am. Uh, let's go ahead and try it with somebody else. Where's my mom? Beth is about two miles away. There we go. Gives a rough address of where they are. Another one of my favorite new features coming to HomePods is the ability to set reoccurring automations with just your voice. So you can do things like uh, turn off the lights every day at a certain time, and you don't have to go to the Home app to set it up. You can all just do it by asking Siri. Let's go ahead and uh, try one out here. Close the master bathroom shades every weekday at 5 p.m. I've set the master bathroom blinds to closed at 5 p.m. starting this afternoon. That new automation not only will be created, but it'll show inside of the home app where you can further modify it, add additional accessories if you wanted to, or disable it and delete it if you no longer want it. This is seriously gonna be one of my favorite features for HomePod because it's so easy and convenient just to ask Siri to do something. You can also say, shut the shades in 10 minutes or open the shades in two hours, stuff like that, but with any HomeKit accessories that you have. If you use your HomePod to control HomeKit and smart home accessories, now, if the accessory isn't visible or if it exists in another room than where the HomePod is, there'll be a new confirmation tone. This just lets you know that the message was sent and actually carried out when you can't physically see what's going on. So maybe you adjusted the temperature in your house and you know that thermostat's down the hallway or you adjusted the lights in a different room. You don't know if that actually worked or not. You don't know if that accessory responded and changed like you thought it was supposed to. Now this new confirmation tone will let you know. Otherwise, Apple has also remastered the ambient sounds on the HomePod and Apple has allowed these to be included in scenes and automations. For example, maybe you have a scene that runs every morning and uh, that wakes you up and you want that sound to be like, you know, rain going on, this white noise that Apple has available. Before you could set kind of any sound to run inside of a scene or automation, especially using shortcuts, but now Apple has these special background sounds that it used to have kind of inaccessibility features. Those can be built into scenes. Maybe you have a nighttime scene that you wanna run and it'll play this background noise, this white noise for an hour or so to help you fall asleep and then automatically turn off. But it's a really neat feature. Plus they do sound better than they did before. Apple says they are more immersive, but they just sound maybe a little bit more detail, a little bit more uh, depth to the noises than existed before. 
Apple has some other changes coming to HomePods, but mostly little smaller bug fixes. But seriously, I think this is a great update for HomePod mini users. Let me know your favorite of the new features down below in the comments or over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. One more time, the update is available now, so go download it, try it out for yourself. Otherwise, stay tuned. Got a lot more videos coming your way.